In this video, I'm going to show you must know Google privacy and security settings. So by going through these settings, you'll know how secure your account is and you'll know where all your data is used. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you have to do is go to your browser and then log in to your Gmail account. So you'll find that on the top right. And once you've logged in, just search myaccount.google.com. And it'll take you to this page where you can manage your Google account. So on the left, there are two pages which are really important to us. One is security and the second page is data and privacy. So first I'll show you the important security settings that you must go through. So just click on security now. And usually the first thing I do is run the security checker. So on top you'll find the option. And if I just click on see details, as you can see, it has run many different security checks, but it hasn't found any problem since all of them have a green tick. But if you don't have a green tick, but you have a yellow circle with an exclamation mark in it, then just click on the arrow next to it. Let's say here. And here you will be able to make changes to make your account secure again. So after you've run this checkup at the bottom, just click on continue to your Google account. And now I'll show you some other important settings. So now scroll down and the next important setting is checking the third party apps which have access to your account. So it's over here and just click on manage third party access. And here I can see all of the apps which have access to my account. And it's possible that they have access to some sensitive information as well, since they've written this over here. So now if I want to remove an app, Let's say I don't want Dr. Parking 4 to have access to my account. Then I'll click on it and click on remove access. Then click on OK. And now as you can see, the access has been removed. Then scroll down and now you can see all the websites and apps with which you sign in using this Google account. So they'll have access to your name, email ID, and your profile picture. So you can go through the list over here. And if you want to remove access, you can follow the same method. So if I want to remove access for score match, that's here. I'll click on it, click on remove access and OK. And now the access has been removed. So this is one setting that's really useful and it's something that you should regularly check. Now I'll go back and the next setting is managing the devices which are logged in to your account. So again, scroll down and here under your devices, you can see all the devices which have signed in with this account. So just click on manage all devices. And here you can see the entire list and you can also see the date when they last accessed your account and their location. So let's say I want to remove access of a device. So over here, I'll click on the arrow and then click on sign out. They'll ask me again. And if I click on remove, then they'll unlink the device from my account. So again, this is really important to check all of the devices which have access to your account. Then the next setting is managing the passwords which are saved on this account. So if you scroll down over here, you'll find password manager and just click on it. And here you can see all of the passwords that are saved in this account. And let's say you want to remove access of one. So if I want to delete the password of this app, I can click on it. Then you'll have to sign in by entering your password. And after that, it'll be removed. So these were all of the important security settings. So now moving on to the privacy settings. The first thing you should do is check your history settings. So if you scroll down, then you'll find the history settings over here and here they have three options. One is web and app activity, then location history and YouTube history. So here you can manage it and decide if you want to keep it enabled or disable it. So I'll quickly show you each of these settings. First in web and app activity, just click on it. So here they've said that it saves your activity on Google sites and apps so that you get faster search results, better recommendations, etc. So currently it's off, but if I want to switch it on, 
I can just click on turn on over here and then it'll be enabled. After that, you can see all of the apps which have access to your data. So if I want to delete it from Google, I can click on it. And here I can see my Google search history and delete it if I want to. After that, in location history, here they've said they'll save the places where you go. So currently it's on, but if I want to switch it off, I can click on turn off and then it'll be switched off. And if you want to delete it, you can scroll down and here they have options like auto delete or if you click on manage history, then from there you can delete it. And the last option is YouTube history. And here they save the YouTube videos you watch and things that you search for on YouTube. So again, you can keep it on or off. After that, if you scroll down, then the next important setting is the info which you share with others. So here you can manage all the information which is visible to others. So you can edit your profile by clicking on it. And here you can edit all the information. And the same way for location sharing, you can manage if you want to share it with others or not. And now the last privacy setting is the data from the apps and services that you use. So if you scroll down, you'll find it over here. And now if I just click on this next to apps and services, then here I can see all of my data with them. So as you can see in Google Drive, I can see the number of files I have or else in YouTube, the number of videos, playlists, etc. So here you can see how much of your data is with all of these apps. So basically over here, I can see all of my data that's with these apps and I can also manage it. So let's say I want to delete some mails from my inbox. Then I can just click on inbox that's here and it'll take me to my inbox from where I can delete it. So this is how it works. And if you want to know how to clear your Gmail inbox, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.